Let's talk a little bit about special teams. If there's an area that I kind of go, it's special teams. And um, inevitably, there's going to be one or two games that come down to special teams, and the good, team, good teams find a way to win it. Um, are you concerned with the special teams play? Not necessarily concerned, but I have that same sense that you do. At some point, and as good as the Browns are, are on as or on paper, of course, as good as they are on paper, this team just feels like if they can live up to those expectations everywhere else, one or two big moments, as you said, Dave, are going to come down to the kicking game and most likely on the foot of Cody Parkey. If Cody Parkey wants to not be known as double doink anymore. And that's going to stay with him from his time with Chicago in that big moment. And what happened to that kick in order to get that as kind of a distant memory about him, instead of the only thing or the first thing people think about when they hear the name Cody Parkey, it is going to be that big moment for the Browns, whether it's in the big game or a chance to get there. You know, we're always talking about here in Cleveland, there's always next year, and especially for the Browns, there's always next year. There's always that hope, that optimism, that, that intrigue into the team. Well, there's a roster and a credible, cultured organization that is behind that hope and optimism that you feel like they can have that success. What will Cody Parkey do in the moment that he is given and on the other side, in the punting game, when you need that field position to try to hem a team back in their own end to get the ball back in the hands of your offense for one last chance, can he get the job done? And I think he can. Can he get the job done and allow that defense to go to work one more time and kind of erase somewhat of their Browns demons of last year not being able to get the ball in the back, back in the hands of their offense? Yeah, the other, kicking game. Spe- yeah, go ahead. The other thing is the return game. I, it, 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 the last time they had a threat, yeah. return and kickoffs and punts. And now, Demetric Felton could be that guy. He he showed that in college. But again, those are. And I love the fact that we're nitpicking about the return game and the kicking game because that shows the the other part of the roster is pretty good. It does. And, you know, it used to be who's the quarterback? <laughs> who's actually going to be throwing the ball? And that's that's the most important position in all of sports. We're going down to second, third stringers and special teams, kick returners. We're going to the nitty gritty now to find any sort of hole in this team that just seems so good going into the season. This team is going to have to prove it and they're going to put the work in. With the return game, You got speed. You could potentially use Anthony Schwartz. You have JoJo Natson, who I know this team loved that they were able to bring him in last year and unfortunately losing him to a torn ACL as well. What is he going to look like coming off of that injury? Field position and being able to make that crucial kick are going to really determine how far this Browns team goes because even if there's a slow start for the defense or the offense has an off game, most more likely than not, those things will figure themselves out as the talent and the coaching is able to figure that out. What are those crucial moments on special teams going to look like and how will the Browns fare in those moments? 